We don't know what the ICC have in plan for us, so um, hopefully this performance helps. Um, we, you know, the next three or four years will be a bit quiet for us, um, going into a bit of a rebuilding period. But, you know, hopefully the ICC recognise that associate cricket has got a lot better, and you know, today we just proved that. Um, of course, you think you were really upset when you got out, but. Was there a point where you were feeling that, you know, we can do this, we can cross the finishing line? Oh, yeah. I mean, when we restricted India to just 280, um, we knew it was a good batting deck, but, you know, obviously India has the bowlers, but we knew that 280 was about par, I mean, just over par, I reckon. Um, but, you know, we had the batting firepower and we had nothing to lose. So I said, you know, game on here. And after the first 10 overs, when we were, what, 50 for, 58 for no loss or something, You know, I just looked at Cat and I said, we can actually, you know, turn India over. Um, you know, got a 176 one partnership, but even that wasn't enough. Could you tell us any comments that was going around as the tension was mounting from the team? Or did the, any of the greats come and congratulate you and make a comment to you on your performance? Yeah, I mean, when we were, when we, me and Cat were out there, we sort of... Um, You know, I, I could tell that the, the, you know, the Indian players were getting a bit, you know, anxious. Um, I think Shikharbhai walked past and you know, he said to Dhoni that um, 280 isn't, might not be enough here. We should have scored 350. Um, you know, but, you know, they're, they're, they're heroes, aren't they? So, you know, the respect that we've, we've earned today is um, commendable and we're just really, you know, it is a bittersweet feeling, as I said to, to Russell Arnold. Um, you know, we probably should have finished that game if we're being harsh on ourselves. Uh, were you aware that the 176 run opening stand was the highest level for Hong Kong, highest partnership ever for Hong Kong? Oh, I wasn't aware, no, had no idea. No clue. Hi, oh, Andrew, man. Uh, talking about the conditions, uh, batting under the lights uh, seemed to favour you guys today. Uh, can you talk to us about, is, you know, chasing is, uh, is slightly easier, would you say? Well, um, I don't think it made a m much of a difference. I think the wicket stayed uh, true throughout the entire game. Um, batting under lights I don't think really helped I don't, I don't think the conditions made that much of a difference uh, probably um, favoured India more I'd say under, you know, fielding under the lights when it's not so hot at 3.30 in the afternoon um, but in saying that look, you know, I think it, it didn't make that much of a difference I don't think You obviously mentioned about the need for associates to be noticed by the ICC after every such performance all of you, some of us boost us up Is it that the associates need at this point in time? I think it's more exposure to high-level cricket. Um, you look at Afghanistan as a prime example. Um, back in 2011 to 2015, you know, they, they, were, they were performing like us, you know, sort of upsetting the odd team, but going through a string of, you know, performances where they were getting bought out for 140, 150 on good decks, just like we did against Pakistan. But, you know, with the right backing, they... You know, they started getting better and better, training a lot harder, fully contracted, this and that. The professionalism was there. And now, you know, <laughs> they've, they're pretty much about to top the group in Group B at the Asia Cup. So that is definitely something that does lack in, in associate cricket, um, is the exposure to high, high level um, cricket. And today we've just proved that we are capable of it. And there are a lot of associate teams that are capable of it. You look at Scotland in the World Cup qualifiers, they narrowly missed out. So, um, you know, it, it, is, it is getting there. Um, we just need the recognition. Uh, what was uh, said between day before and today before you went into this game? I think it was just a confidence thing. You just looked at the, um, the way we batted against Pakistan. You could tell we were a bit timid, a bit rigid, uh, you know, sort of, oh my God, we're playing Pakistan. Um, but today, you know, after our bowling performance, um, restricting India to 280 when they should have really got 330, 340, you know, that gave us a boost. That gave us a massive confidence boost. And going into our batting, we sort of took that momentum with us. Um, we knew 280 was just over par, but, you know, we, had, we said if we give it a good crack, you know, we, we could chase it. And unfortunately, we narrowly missed out.